So let's tighten the spindle until it's stuck. More. No, it's hard to rotate. Let's try the test again. And I think I get the same results. So that only shows that the setup here is not rigid enough. Or actually I can pull everything up. I mean, um, it's clearly not the clearance here that makes the the deviation read out read out install it completely and still I have the same so let's move over to the other um, machines to just see how I uh, how much I get there I guess this can be an alternative test method just inserting <coughs> We call it the test bar in this case just a, a drill with an MT2 tang so I can pull up or push down if I push down you can see that there is hardly any movement <coughs> pulling up I claw it's back again but not much really so we call that good then we can well, within one to two hundreds so we can do the same but simulating tool pressure i'll go in the rear try to focus on the inside here like that and then i'll Move no, that is better that way, I think. So it's better to look at it so, and then I push simulating tool pressure. <coughs> So it moves a little bit and then the other way. <coughs> As you can see, that's the movement you get. And now it and now the spindle is um, is set. Now the spindle is set to call it the required um, 15 degrees here or freedom of movement to set the correct preload on the my third we have this line which i have um, now uh, marked also red so that you can see it uh, this should align with this knot so that the line for the knot there should be lining up with the Mark there. So this way, exactly there. And then <coughs> uh, we can test the, the, um, the spindle for um, what do you call this? Um, zeroing the indicator here. 
we can then test the spindle for play in the axial direction and as you can see I have about three three and a half hundreds if I um, try to snug it up further first of all we lock the spindle like that So I will try again, after I've been tightened the spindle further. But still the same. So I don't think it's any idea to tighten it further. If you look over here again now. show you that it's now tightened some degrees over but and uh, I can't tighten it any further and uh, there is no additional uh, or no gain to be had from tightening this be uh, beyond that mark bear in mind this bearing set is now new so if it was worn, perhaps this would have been have, would have had to be tightened further. But for me, uh, with a new bearing, I think the correct factory setting is okay. And as we saw, there was no gain in the in the actual uh, the slop I could have.